Hello to everyone, friends and families, mga mamshis. I am Mami Jean. Welcome to our channel, Montero Family. Hello guys, as I promised, uh, on this vlog, I will be sharing with you the DIY step-by-step -step process that I did for my student permit going to Canada. But before that, let me share with you our last moments in the UAE. One of the hardest thing is saying goodbye. We will miss you all guys and we are looking forward to see you soon and hopefully we will be reunited here in Canada. We miss you so much and we love you all. <laughs> Bye and thank you UAE. Thank you for being my second home for 10 years. Thank you for all your prayers. We are here now in Canada. Hey guys, as I promised, I will be sharing with you the steps-by-step -step process of the DIY student permit. DIY means do it yours without any agency. And disclaimer lang po, I am not an expert. All of the things that I will be sharing in this vlog are my own experiences. So if you are planning to do the student pathway or uh, nasa process ka na or nag pa lang, if you will continue student pathway, this video is for you. Student pathway is one of the fastest way if you want to go inside the Canada, but it is one of the expensive one because you will be paying for, for all of your expenses, especially for the tuition fees, because you will be an international student in the Canada. Once you decided to move to Canada, you need to uh, choose where province do you want to stay. So make your own research kung anong benefits ng each province kasi makakaiba po sila. So, kami, napili namin ay Alberta. And kapag may napili na kayong province, doon ka na magde-decide kung saan school ka papasok sa province na yon. So, in choosing school here in Canada, make sure first they are under DLI or means Designated Learning Institutions. They are the one who are authorized by the government of Canada to host international students. Make sure na yung mapipili yung school is nag offer ng PGWP or it means post-graduation work permit. So this is your chance to work out your PR pathway. So nung may napili na akong school, nag-start na akong mag-gather and prepare all the requirements and documents that I'll be needing. So, my first timeline is August 4, 2020 when I submitted my application in BVC and I paid $140. Once may napili na yung school, prepare all the documents that you needed. Ako, napili ko ay Bow Valley College in Alberta. Reminder na if napili nyo yung Alberta, you need to go to applyalberta.ca 
to submit your applications in school. You need to make your own account or profile in this website. So create account and then start uh, filling all the informations that they will be needing para maging successful yung application nyo. So once successful yung creating account nyo, you will be signing in and then ganito yung makikita nyo. So you need to fill out all the profile na kailangan yung high school, college history. And then at the end of uh, filling in out, makikita nyo select institution. So doon kayo pipili kung aling school sa Alberta ang magugustuhan nyo. Again, this is only for Alber Alberta province. Iba-iba po per province kung paano mag-submit ng application sa school. Before we proceed with the different requirements and documents, let me share with you ang laking tulong sa akin ng group nito sa Facebook. Dito ako natutong mag-DIY at ang galing kasi nagtutulungan dito lahat ng mga gustong mag-DIY process. Search nyo na yung Pinoy Canada Student Pathway. Kapag member na kayo ng group na to, ang dami yung makikitang posts or may, maybe may question kayo na pwede masagot through this group. Pwede nyo i-search like example, schools with PGWP. So lab, lalabas lahat ng mga posts regarding sa inyong mga tanong or searching. Pwede rin naman kung may specific na question kayo, i-post nyo lang sa group and sigurado maraming sasagot for you. Okay, now let's talk about the different requirements. First is passport. Make sure na valid ang iyong passport until the end of your course or your study. And then, birth certificate and marriage certificate if you are married. Before taking IELTS, check nyo muna if kailangan siya ng school because there are some schools in Canada na hindi naman kailangan ng IELTS kapag mag -e enroll kayo on that school. Like Bow Valley College, exempted ang mga nag-graduate sa Philippines or sa mga specific school sa IELTS. So, if exempted kayo sa IELTS, may specific na documents na ipipresent sa school and check the next slide that I will be showing. So, in Bow Valley, if exempted sa IELTS, they are requiring ELMI, English Language uh, as Medium Instruction. You will get this in the registrar of your university or high school. So, nag-submit din ako ng high school and college diploma, Form 137, which is for high school and TOR. So, August 5, 2020, na-receive ng Bow Valley yung application ko from applyalberta.ca website. And they required me to email all the documents that are needed. So, I sent to BVC all the documents na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Yun yung mga first documents na kailangan. Again, I am referring to Bow Valley College. Check each school kung paano po yung requirements nila. Okay. Aside sa mga documents na nire-require ng school, you need to pay also the down payment na kailangan ng school so that they will reserve you a space or they will give you the letter of acceptance. In Bow Valley, I paid 1,500 Canadian dollars. A day after paying the reservation fee, I received my letter of acceptance or the LOA from Bow Valley College. Okay, after receiving the letter of acceptance, what is the next steps? So now, you need to gather all the documents for visa application. One of the most important documents that you will be needing for your student permit or student visa is the Statement of Purpose or SOP. SOP is a letter to the visa officer and you need to convince them why they need to approve your visa permit or why they will allow you to study in Canada. Okay guys, I'm sharing with you the sample of my SOP or statement of purpose. So the letter will be addressed to the visa officer and then you need to write a quick background about yourself, about your education, your work history, and about yourself. And then next, you need to write the purpose of study, where school you will be going, your course, and why you chose Canada. And then, Plans post-study. You need to explain what are your plans 
after studying and you will be returning in your home country. And you need to put your travel history, your proof of funds or how much money you will bring in Canada and ties to the Philippines. So ties to the Philippines guys, it means these are your assets in the Philippines and you can also include your families, relatives, loved ones or even your pets because this will show na may bal kayo talagang bumalik sa Pinas after studies. We need to convince the visa officer na yun ang goal natin because remember, we are just applying for a student permit or student visa. So we need to convince the visa officer that after our study, we will be returning to our home country. But syempre guys, like what I discussed earlier to you, it's very important na may PGWP yung school nyo because even we have the student permit, we can apply for a PR once we have gained Canadian experience. Before we proceed, please like and share my page Canada Deals. I am selling uh, stuffs from Canada, original and authentic. And I'm open for resellers. Baha gusto nyo po, please message me on my social media. Or send me a message to the page Canada Deals. Guys, these are the more documents that I prepared for my visa application. Just a screenshot or if you need help, please PM me. Speaking of proof of funds, so this is a simple explanation of how much money you need to bring or to prepare in applying the visa. Pero sabi nga nila, the more the better, lalo na kung hindi pa fully paid yung tuition fee mo. Now, let's talk about the visa application itself. So, in applying the visa, guys, we have the paper-based and the online-based. So, for me, I did online-based. Go to www.canada.ca and then choose English. And then, in this page, guys, you need to make a GCQ or a profile kasi dun submit yung application natin. So, just watch. And find sign in or create an account. GCK means yun yung account mo kung saan mo i-apply yung visa permit natin or student permit. Reminder lang guys na ang GCK ay na-expire after 60 days. So make sure if you will do or create an account or a GCK, you will be submitting your visa application within 60 days or else you need to make a new one once it was expired. Okay, fast forward guys, kapag may uh, account na kayo or GCK, makikita nyo po ito, you will be asked or you will see different series of questions before you will see yung pinaka-profile nyo if saan nyo i-upload all the documents that we prepared. Again, uh, dapat po PDF po yung file na mga i-upload sa ating visa application and makikita nyo po doon kung ano lang yung allowed na size file. If malaki po yung file, you will need to compress it before uploading it. Okay, just watch this video. Ito po yung sample ng mga different questions that you will see before we will be uploading our documents for the visa. So guys, this is the most important part. This is the part na i-upload na natin lahat ng mga documents na ni-ready natin. So you will see very clearly once may GCK na kayo. So you will see the different forms for the visa itself. Yung passport copy, letter of acceptance, yung financial support or the show money, uh, your digital photo, and then may mga different forms po doon. And then at the end, you will see kung magkano yung babayaran natin. So this is 235 Canadian dollars. Sa client info guys, doon lahat yung mga documents i-upload Including your SOP, dito siya i-upload guys. I'll show you a sample. Ito yung aking client info. This is uh, 52 pages. Parang mini scrapbook siya. You need to put all the documents all together. So once all the documents are uploaded, go to the payment. But make sure all the documents are completed because you cannot turn back. 
Ito na guys, after 67 days, I am approved. So this is the detailed um, timeline of my application. So before I end my vlog, so ito pa po yung iba kong expenses while doing the application. So that's it guys. I hope somehow napakita ko sa inyo kung paano yung process ng DIY and yung mga cost or expenses. Um, if you have some questions, please free to send a comment below. Write a comment below. I will try to answer them or message me on my social media. Remember, if kaya ko, kayang kaya nyo rin. You just need to trust the process, have faith, and for sure, God will give in His perfect timing. We are looking forward to welcome you in Canada. Bye guys. See you. Remember, be grateful and be